السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہریار مبارک آن مائی چینل حسن علی ود انادر ایپیسوڈ اف مائی ٹیک ویل ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اگین اباؤٹ دی مانچسٹر انسیڈنٹ اینڈ وٹ اٹ ٹیلز اس اباؤٹ دی برٹش سوسائٹی اینڈ اوور آل ہاؤ دی برٹش انٹیلیجنسیا دی برٹش سوسائٹی دی برٹش مین اسٹریم میڈیا دی برٹش اسٹیبلشمنٹ دی پیپل ان پاور لائک لیبر پارٹی اینڈ ہاؤ آر دے ریئیکٹنگ and why this officer this so called officer of greater manchester police force have not been arrested yet why the criminal charges have not been brought brought against him and why the independent office of police uh, uh, inquiry or whatever that institution name is why they have handed over the inquiry to the crown prosecution that they decide that whether they want to pursue the charges against this officer or not whether they want to do a disciplinary action or they want to suspend him they want to sack him and arrest him and bring criminal charges against him and also about the fact that is it a new thing in europe in uk in usa and also people do you realize that these things happen with the palestinians in west bank by israeli police and this british police was treating their own citizen upper the, the these asia british pakistanis have their uh, uh, they are british citizens they have british passport and they were treated like uh, they are criminal they are low life some thug uh, low like low life thug like criminal like a drug dealer because how they were kicked and after today more video came where the same police officer with this same that same squad attack other police uh, other public uh, people especially the, uh, those were as well pakistanis and uh, asians and pakistanis i assume that they were attacked their phones were tried to snatch by the officers what does it tell us it tells us that racism is institutionalized in british society if you look at lbc if you look at times radio if you look at sky news if you look at bbc if you look at uh, gb news if you look at itv news if you look at talk tv if you look at channel 4 if you look if you look at telegraph if you look at guardian if you look any mainstream media any british mainstream media they are trying to defend that police officer they are trying to defend that police officer and they are trying to uh, Uh, tuck it under the rug that this is not racism this is this is nothing this has not to do with race this has nothing to do with the race this happened because of the uh, police officer's emotions were high adrenaline was uh, running high and he was emotional he was scared he was scared that over their arms were going to snatch by those two guys i uh, finally uh, find these excuses lame and these excuses really pathetic as you are trying to get a defense where simply we see when you tased a man and then he is already on ground his mother is standing behind and he is asking for mercy by that uh, by signaling uh, by making her hand by begging she is begging that do not do with uh, do not torture my kids do not beat them like this do not kick them in heads like this she was begging to them there are pictures of that old woman she was begging for the life of her kids and the british media the shameful british media i have to say because people are saying that this is not racism this is appropriate this is police this uh, they were uh, criminals or they have firearms they were going to bomb manchester city uh, manchester airport uh, somehow or they were going to take over they were going to take hostages there no nothing was that sort of happening these police officers misused their force because they know they uh, they were attacking asians and it is not the first incident because now there are uh, stories coming out that this man this police officer who is now been suspended finally after 24 hours after 36 hours after this incident and still not been arrested not been sacked 
and not been taken into the custody if it was done by some public uh, member he uh, the um, if if was done, if it was done by some public bystander by a, a public member by someone from public he would have he or she would have been arrested till now and criminal charges would have been brought his or her against his or her but but the police officer because he is white he is their own skin he is their uh, brother in arms so he is not going to face criminal charges yet because crown prosecution will going to think about it if they find it appropriate and if they find it necessary then they will going to bring criminal charges against that police officer who is still been by the majority of british media majority of british politicians people like lee anderson saying that this is good we need this sort of police officer i want to ask mr lee anderson he is an mp and this is, he is from reform uk this shows you where united kingdom is going and people who praise united kingdom for its uh diversity from its uh, law and uh, law abiding um, uh, citizen for for its uh, law abidingness they should see what they have done with their own citizen these people have passport and they are treated like crap they are treated like low life thugs they were treated like they were some drug drug dealers who were selling drugs on airport and that's how they were treated in front of their mother it it, it is also been told revealed now that her mother was first slapped by those police officer who the greater manchester police is again again and media is saying that they were attacked and one uh, female police officer's nose was broken where are their pictures where are the evidence of they have been thrashed by these two guys and where are the pictures and why and if they have at the andy burnham burnham or burnham the mayor of greater manchester he said that people need to calm down there are other aspects there are other facets to that why they are not releasing the those uh, uh, foot, uh, the, the body cam footage of those cops who are so called injured and in hospitalized why their medical reports have not been released why those body cam footage have not been released why because i personally feel this is a made up thing this is a made up thing and these cops with the weapons with the arms they deliberately attack these people they deliberately use um, uh, they, they deliberately misuse uh, misuse of the power did misuse of the power and they deliberately they were trying to kill because ahmed yakub is right to say that they we are going to uh, charge and ask uh, go, uh, going to ask the uh, police officer that bring the charges of murder intent of murder because he is right if it was done by someone if these guys did death to this police officer will they not face the murder charge murder murder trial they would have that's why if the british society is so in so tolerable and so good and so they so that so full of human rights so full of law then they should sack these all police officer all police officers should be arrested now and the criminal charges should be brought against everybody and they should all be sacked otherwise this is an open case of islamophobia of racism and it also says um, a lot about the british society as a whole because the british politicians i have seen they are not condemning the act they are not condoning it they are not condemning it they are you know in some way trying to find a midway where they they do not have to say bad things about greater manchester police or that officer they are finding the midway and same about the british media because if it have been somebody as if 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 was if it was indians or the um, uh, israelis or any other if this sort of assault taken place with uh, would have taken place with them With, with these uh, the nationalities it would have been hue and cry all over the world but but because this is uh, this had happened with pakistani family a muslim family that's why nobody is caring 
Yes, there are condemnation in British House of Commons, but it is not enough. You need to sack that guy. You need to bring criminal charges against all these four or five police officers who were there, who were trying to snatch the phone of those bystanders or those people or, or those look or onlookers who were seeing and making these videos. We have to salute those guys. If they don't have shoot that, their police would have easily said that these guys thrashed us. That's why we did this. That's why we did that. They are criminal. They are that. But now because of this footage has came on media and this footage is circulating and there are protests in Greater Manchester and Rotterdam. That's why this is happening. And these folks at Times Radio, these folks at LBC, Sky, Telegraph, BBC, uh, Channel 4, ITV, GB, Talk TV. That's why they are you know, have to. They are saying that the, that was inappropriate. That was misuse of power or excessive use of power. They never have said that. And these scenes remind us that what people in West Bank, Palestine, face from the hands of Israeli forces and Israeli police. They face this treatment daily. This they face this treatment daily, and that's why we see what. Uh, uh, that's happening with them from last 76 years. One the incidents happened in Britain and all we came up on streets. I think people of Rochdale should also realize that they picked a wrong MP who didn't care about them. He should have asked that police officer, that officer in question should be sacked and arrested. But nothing of this sort has happened. Because he is white. He has been protected because of his skin color, because of his whiteness of his skin color. If it would have been somebody else, it would have happened with somebody, uh, some other nationality, some other faith. I highly doubt that that police officer was walking freely on the streets of Manchester. And the shocking fact, which actually tells me that we uh, we always uh, I am one of those who criticize the British system and this Western political and justice system and these democracies. The man, the two uh, victims who have been thra thrashed and beaten up by police cops, their big brother is is serving cop police officer in Greater Manchester Police, and he is not going on duty because he is uh, worried about his life. He says that he can be murdered by these thugs in the force. So this shows you the reality of law and order of Great Britain, of United Kingdom, of England, where we all die to go. This shows you the reality and the picture of the society which we praise from Pakistan, which we praise from India, which we praise from around the globe, that they are so civilized people. They are so civilized people and this uh, incidents tell us that they are not civilized they are not very educated society they are not very tolerant society this tell us that they are very uneducated unequal and intolerant and intolerant society who do not like you if you are not uh, of their color of not their religion or of not their belief or not of their uh, ideology because the contaminations which are coming, they lack the spine. So it says many things. What happened on Manchester Airport tells you that this is your worth in Britain when you go there and you say that this country is a heaven and we came from hell. No, you are getting a place in hell which seems like heaven, but in reality that is worse than hell. Long live Islam.